Hey there, Gemini. My name is Kim, and I'll do your reading for the next 24 hours. Um, how are you all? Thank you for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. I appreciate all of you. And let's get this going. It's going to be mainly an oracle card reading, but it may be some tarot to clarify if we need to. All right. This is Kim Cran's archetype, and we call in divine white light to help surround us at this reading surround you as you watch calling in our angels spirit guides higher self higher power to get the messages for the greater good sign of gemini please oh the forest another another sign got the forest and the womb on the bottom the womb all right the forest so this card talks about how we must get lost in the forest and face the things that can be scary or challenging. And I think it's talking about life in general, um, how things, you know, things can be sweet and wonderful with fairies and magic, but we can also see the seedy underbelly um, of this world too. But in order to get found, we must first get lost. And that's the message in this card. All right, let me stick that right there. Let's do some energy cards for Gemini, please. Energy cards for Gemini. Hmm, maybe some mediumship here. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> okay, I think that's all I'm gonna get with that. Maybe some mediumship because I have the temple path and that's a really um, really spiritual feeling. Wow. You got, wow. Good cards. Good cards. Something spiritual, something new, maybe in a romance or, um, reigniting that spot, that spark. And it doesn't really have to be partnership. That's, um, like romantic. It can be a business partnership. I look at the partnership as just being something that's based on love. And trust and we have journey so maybe maybe you're gonna go towards this journey um, from here so temple path going inside um, get, receiving and getting signs from deceased loved ones door to romance either a new new romance or igniting this reigniting that spark from your relationship and then going on a journey going on a journey you need to make a strategy we have the strategy card here too something about this trip that needs a strategy and then I mean look at this this is great your last two were this cornucopia and blossoming abundance it really couldn't get any better those are the two cards in that deck that have to do with prosperity and your abundance so that's that's really wonderful so I, I think the strategy has to do with the journey and it might be connected to your abundance because this would have come right here if i had a, the space so i think the abundance comes from this journey and it, it may be also it may be a journey within yourself that and admit like a new self-love that brought about this new strategy for your abundance for your cornucopia all right, let's get you a guardian angel card. We might not have to clarify because that, that seemed to be quite a few. Quite a few cards came out. Let's see. Gemini. We're Gemini. Guardian angel card. Angel of dreams. Hmm, maybe something about your dreams. Maybe that's part of the, that's part of like the strategy is in your dreams while you sleep. I have heard that people meet with their spirit guides at night and don't usually remember it. It can mean that then. All right, you've received this card because your angel of dreams has heard your prayers about receiving assistance to manifest your dreams into reality. See, so they're going to help you develop a strategy, send you on this new journey. 
Um, it says it's important to focus on manifesting a dream. Um, su such as you can, it says you can focus on bringing a dream into reality, such as having abundance in your life. Um, then your angel can assist you. So it, it can be, it can be like the, the trip there might be different than what you thought, but the goal is what you're focusing on. What is your goal going to be? The affirmation is, I believe that dreams do come true. I allow the assistance of my angel of dreams into my life to help me see my dreams manifest into reality. Nice. So, tea leaf. Tea leaves for Gemini, please. Oh, nice, Gemini. Do you see that? The money path. I see that. Feather. Somebody is undependable and insincere. Ugh. Okay. Hmm. And then let's, I don't even know where to put this one. I guess right here. I don't know why it means that on that card because when I see a feather out, um, like when I'm walking or something, then I always think of angels. I always think of angels. I think of good stuff. Money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. It's this journey that you're going to take. Look, it's all lit up kind of like that with that yellow apple temptation will test you this apple kind of looks like this heart i think it has something to do with that all right ear good news good news you will hear good news broom new home new attitude new home new attitude is that cornucopia that blossoming abundance throne position of authority position of authority i think that's here on the temple path and then claw be careful and do not take risks make a strategy come up with a strategy all right gemini thanks for joining me guys uh, sending you light and love